Getting ready to bring you way back conference women's action, the first of the battle ahead of the day. In this first game, the Merritt College Lady T-Birds feature Contra Costa College comments. In just a moment, they'll have the starting lineup for both teams. And now the starting lineup first for the Merritt College Lady T-Birds. At one guard, number three, Markella Hadley. And a second guard, number 11, Maya Perkins. And a third guard, number 21, Dominique Seymour. And a fourth guard, number 23, Ariana Williams. And at the fifth guard, number 32, Emily Hill. Coach of the Merritt College Lady T-Birds, Harlan Gray. Merritt College 2 and 2 in the Bay Valley Conference, 4 and 13 overall. They lost to Wayne, the 85-54 on the 18th of January at Wayne. Now for the start line for your Contra Costa College Lady Comets. And one guard. All right, Anthony Schultz back with you here at uh, Contra Costa College as we get ready to start tonight's game. Here are the starters. First for Merritt, Markayla Hadley will get the start. Maya Perkins in there as well. Dominique Seymour, Ariana Williams, and Emily Hill, the quintet in Peach. And for the Comets, Chris Style King, Cicely Sorrell, Vicky Lopez, and uh, Kiana Harrison get the start. For the Comets, there's the first shot of the game, and that is knocked out. And right away, a good start for the Lady T-Birds. As uh, Williams able to bury the shot from the outside. T-Birds in that uh, orangey peach color. And the Comets in the gray with the light blue trim. Both teams struggling right now in desperate need of a win to stay in this. There's a shot that won't go. Defensive rebound and the T-Birds clear. 3-0 on the early return to the T-Birds. As they try to work on their 4-13 overall record. Dump it into the post. Awkward looking move right there. Ball turned over. And here are the Comets the other way. Ball nearly lost. And the Comets into the half court. Comets with just uh, three of their last ten. And last year, just six and 18 of the coach, Nick Shaw. There's a step up jumper and knocked down. Nothing but nylon right inside that uh, three point line. But that was going to make it three to two. Vicky Lopez finding the range from the outside. The T Birds. Trying to come back with one, and that shot no good, but a defensive rebound. And they'll have it one more time. Dribble drive to the tank. Off the glass and all. There's Ariana Williams, a very good take that time. And a 5-2 lead for the Birds. The T-Birds in that 2-3 zone. There's a ball knocked away. It's going to go out of bounds. And it's going to stay right here, Comets basketball. The shot clock at 14 is the T-Birds inbound. There's a wide open shot off the back of the rim, no good. Birds 
not able to collect a defensive rebound. So the Comet's going to get a third chance. They go to the inside. This one put up and counted. Nice pass into the post. And finishing that one was Larissa Carvalho, who's really been putting up good numbers this year. Here's a shot from the outside. Rim and backboard, but uh, that won't go. And there's an outlet pass, but uh, the player's not on the same page. And this one just thrown away by the T-Birds. So a wild sequence right there, but uh, so far the birds a 5-4 lead, seven and a half to go here in this opening quarter. So Anthony Schultz along with you. Gonna fly in solo, Bay Area Sports.tv. Comets and the Merritt T-Birds, Merritt out of Oakland. That was, of course, here from San Pablo. There's one dumped in the post. Twist, turn, off the glass, no good. There's a rebound, shot won't go. Tipped around, the birds have it. Baseball pass, gonna be intercepted at mid-court. Well, the lady's running wild, and now we have a travel call. And that will slow things down. Our officials tonight, Reggie Burrell, Napoleon Thurman, and Devon Brazier. injured player. That was Maya Perkins. And she apparently was hit in the mouth. And a little issue with bleeding here, so she's going to have to come out of the ball game. Emily Hill will come into her place here. It's Hill with the basketball. Emily to her left. Picks up a high screen and takes an awkward shot, but draws the foul. Remedy, she was a couple of steps beyond the uh, three-point line, which uh, was 29-9, uh, so she was a good 30-plus feet away from the basket. That's that cardinal rule where you do not foul a jump shooter. The Comets do here. And Hill immediately makes them pay as she gets the first. Second one for Emily. That's off the front of the iron. No good. 6-4 here so far. T-Birds with the lead. Comets with the ball. They go inside. Double team comes. Then off. And now we're going to have a travel call. Kiana Harrison made that turn going Back to the inside, and apparently took too many steps. The move looked good, but the officials felt that uh, she took one too many. All the way to the other side. They tried to get it inside, but this one intercepted by Larissa Carvalho. Carvalho had it, lost it on the baseline. Ball thrown away, and the Comets going to get it back. On the inside to Carvalho, a lot of traffic in there. It was a little bit behind her. Cicely Sorrell's pass a little wide left. So the Comets turn it over. Now a couple of substitutions coming into the ball game for Coach Nick Shaw in his third year. Took over for Paul DeBow. Coach DeBow is here for nearly 30 years. He shot that won't go. Defensive rebound for the Comics. They race it up the floor. There's a shot off the rim, off the backboard, and now we're going to get a charging call. And the Comics, I thought, well, they were hoping for the three point opportunity, and that's not going to happen. Offensive foul, the call. And Crystal King will be called for that one. It's Chris Style King, K R I S T Y L E. Chris Style King. She's going to be out of bounds and will belong to the ladies in Peach. Very interesting color combination. We're back to the inside, off the glass and home, a nice finish off that inbound pass. That was Dominique Seymour with the good hands and the bucket. 
Here's a shot from the outside, and that one rattles home. Nicely done for Lopez. So she sticks the baseline shot, and it's 9-8 to eight in favor of Merritt. Double header action tonight, so remember, stick around. We'll have the men's game immediately following the women's contest. Nice dribble drive. Floaters and gets to the inside. Offensive rebound. Put back will go. Baseball pass. The length of the floor. And the Comets going to get the breakaway layup. And they have taken their first lead of the evening. Comets leading now 11 to 8. And this one going to go out of bounds as the T-Birds turn it over. And now Brianna Martinez, number 10, she'll come into the ball game. And Emily, Emily Hill will take the seat. Scoreboard says Comets 9. Comets 9 to 8. There's a shot, that counts. And that is going to be a four-point opportunity, I believe. The so three-point shot will count. And Brianna Martinez is going to get charged with the foul. This is going to be a four-point opportunity here for Contra Costa. And the shot is good, and that indeed is a four-point play for Contra Costa. And that's Vicky Lopez who picks up that four. And you hear that don't foul as we've got a timeout here. 4.09 to go in the first. And it looks like it's going to be timeout called by Merritt. And uh, we're trying to get this cleared up. I think we are good now with the scoreboard. Comets 13, Merritt 8. As we take a look into Coach Shaw's huddle over here for the Comets. 15 years with uh, J.C. Hoops, making four stops with Coach Shaw, Solano, Santa Rosa, Napa, and then here with Contra Costa. Also spent time at the D2 level with the Sonoma State men. Last year it was a struggle. They were just six and 18 overall. It's been a struggle here in the 18-19 campaign as well, trying to get things turned around here tonight. All right, Comets will inbound. And this one stole it away, but they get it right back. Here's Yusik. Yusik from Bosnia by way of Las Vegas. Coming out here to San Pablo, dumps it inside, shot put up, off the rim, no good. Comets going to chase it down anyway. They get a second chance. That won't go. And now a defensive rebound and trying to clear it. And they do. So the T-Birds get the defensive board and they maintain possession. Trying to dump it in. They do. And there's a foul. Boy, talk about dropping the pass into a bucket that time. That was not an easy post-entry pass. But somehow that ball floated over everything and got to Gigi Ainsworth. And Ainsworth in turn was fouled, so she'll go to the line for two. Well, that was a rainbow pass right beyond the arc. But it certainly found its mark. Ainsworth misses the first. And Gigi's got one of two. Now it's 13, Merritt nine. First quarter action. We're just getting underway for our Wednesday doubleheader. Here's Yusik. Penetrate, drive, ball stolen away. And Merritt has cut off some of those passes that the Comets have tried to get inside with and have not been able to do that very consistently. Gigi gets her own miss. Second one won't go in. 
Cavallo's got the rebound. Fancy dribbling to get free. Going one on two, and then she is held. They're going to call it a tie-up. The possession arrow says Comets ball. But boy, you got to give some credit to the T-Birds on that. That looked like it was going to be a breakaway for the Comets, and they end up with the ball after the uh, possession arrow. Comets going man to man here. Still 11 on the shot clock. Ball coming out of the baseline. Dribble drive. Shot put up. Won't go. But we are going to have a Comets foul. And the two words back to the line. So who's sick? Gonna get called for the foul. Told you Husik from Bosnia by way of Las Vegas. Still learning the game. Good shooter. She's very good on the catch and shoot. And yeah, she gives uh, Coach Shaw uh, a little bit of leeway because she can play both those uh, guard spots. The next one is good. And yeah, that is. Ariana Williams who gets one of two, and the Comets lead down to two. We are nearly down to two minutes left here in this first period. Nice dribble drive here, ball lost, recovered, and now we have a battle for it, tie up. Possession arrow this time says, T-Birds basketball. Court pressure provided by the Comets. T-Words break it. Settling into the half court. They want the three-point baseline jumper. That won't go. And coming back and grabbing the defensive board is the Comets. And they lay it off. Layup won't go. T-Words back the other way. One on two. Shot goes up. Won't go. Defensive rebound. Put back. Won't go. One more time. And this one goes, and a foul, and a chance now for a merit three-point play. So Lucic called for the foul. And Gigi Ainsworth back to the line for the T-Birds as they look for a three-point play. Remember, the Comets have themselves a four-point play already. First shot is good. That's Kiana Harrison coming back into the game. Kiana putting up good numbers this year. Ten points a game, ten rebounds. She's good inside, strong defensively. Hurt her ankle in December, missed a couple of games, but she is starting to really round into shape right now, which is good news for the Comets going the rest of the way. Tough drive right there. Splitting a couple of defenders. Shot won't go. That foul will go against Merritt. And that is Cicely Sorrell with a very good move with the right hand getting it to the line. And Cicely, first one is good. The freshman point guard sets the tone. And Coach Shaw tells me if she comes ready to play defensively and pushes the ball offensively, that's when the Comets are uh, really in their best flow. And sometimes she has a, a tendency to start <laughs> slow. And by the time she kind of gets going, by the time she finds it, it's a little bit too late. But she can get to the hole and get to the foul line, as you just saw right there. Uh, this cross court pass will be intercepted. Sorrell one on one all the way to the basket has it blocked away. Here come the T-Birds the other way. They want a three off the back of the iron. No good. Good pass. Comets going all the way. Lay it up and home. 
Larissa Carvalho following that pass. She gets the deuce, 17-14, in favor of Contra Casa. This one coming off the rim. Boy, the ladies just keep on running. This one knocked away, ball loose, out of bounds, and it'll belong to the T-Birds. Boy, a fast-paced, action-packed first quarter. Comments by three T-Birds with the ball. Shot clock turned off here, 23 seconds. Now, let's see if they can execute this. They'd like to uh, play for the last shot. Let's see, into the post they go. They won't play for the last shot. Ball is loose, they get it back. 10 seconds to go. Here's a shot, off the iron, no good. Offensive rebound, no put back. One more time and counter. Seymour finishes off the scoring. And that'll do it for the first period. Comets hold on to the lead, but we've got a good one here. 17 to 16 in the first game of our Wednesday night doubleheader. And we'll be back with more Comets basketball right here on Bay Area Sports.tv. Lopez with nine, and uh, Williams with seven, and there's a shot put up and counted, so the first bucket of the second quarter goes to Contra Costa, and they lead it by three, 19 to 16. They win that first uh, period by one point, it's 17 to 16. So a good one here from San Pablo to open up our Wednesday doubleheader. They're trying to get through a double team, losing the ball, but uh, it's Merritt coming up with the basketball, and boy, that looked like a travel there. No call. One put up, no good. Carvalho going to get the defensive rebound, and the ladies clear as they head it back up the floor. Here's one from the outside, off the rim, no good. A battle for the rebound. Now we're going to have a foul call. That will go against the Comets. So Janelle Pansoy, number three, calls for that last foul. Rihanna Martinez will come out of the game here for the T-Birds. Comets with some full court pressure. They done this a couple of times tonight. So far, the T-Birds have not had any real problem with it. Shot put up. No good. But now we're going to have a travel call. And that'll go against Dominic Seymour. And that'll be a turnover here for Merritt. So the Comets get it back. They have the basketball. They have the lead. Just getting the second quarter underway. And now another tie-up call. Good defense. That time by Emily Hill. And that will be a stop play. And Emily, Emily's going to inbound the ball from the side right in front of the scorer's table. And for the T-Birds, they can tie with a three or cut the lead back to one with a deuce. So Hill running court going against what looks like a 2-3 zone. And now the, but the uh, Cowards are breaking off into a man-to-man. -man. Double two to the post. Spin hit hard and down to the floor. Well, that was an aggressive move on that post that time by Ariana Williams, the leading scorer for Merritt here in the early going. She goes to the free throw line. 5-8 out of Oakland High. This is that first one. The most complete player on the team in 19 points per game 
And you can see how she gets them, also averaging 11 rebounds, 5 assists, and oh, by the way, a couple of steals as well. There's a shot from the outside, that won't go. But chased down, I believe, by Seymour got over there. So another chance for the Comets. This one's going to be blocked with a foul this time. That was Kiana Harrison, excuse me. Got to the inside, had that one tipped, but apparently the part of the hand was hit as well. And the comments to the line, leading by two. And this one bounces off. So we'll take a look at the standings in the Bay Valley Conference. Solano at 6-0, and 14-7 and overall. Laney at 4-1. But boy, Lady struggling overall, just five and thirteen. Yuba at three and three, but they're underwater as well overall at eight and eleven. And now we're going to have a merit foul, offensive foul. We're going to go the other way. Told you about merit, two and two, four and thirteen. They've lost seven of ten, including their last two. We told you about Contra Costa. Also three up, seven down in their last ten. They lost their last time out. And lost Madonna is out there in Pittsburgh. 0 oh and 6 and 4 and 13 overall. That is the Bay Valley Conference right now. And here's another tie-up. And the possession arrow says, stay right here. And the basketball belongs to the Comets. It's 20, Merritt 17. Seven and a half to go here, second quarter. Turn in the drive, there's a shot from the outside, rattles home. Nicely done, and that's Cicely Sorrell finding the rain. But off the glass a little too strong, this is gonna be blocked with a foul. It was a nice looking take there by Emily Hill. A little too strong off the basket, but uh, right there for the rebound was Dominic Seymour. So a couple of shots coming up here for Dominic. And the first one here. Here comes Lopez. He's going to check into the ball game. Husek going to take a seat. Coach Shaw, Coach Gray continue to move around their chess pieces, and this one is good. 7.14 to go. Comets lead at 23 to 19. This one's going to go out of bounds. We'll stay with Contra Costa. Shot from the outside, and that one is knocked down. So Husik finding the range from outside, 25 to 19. And now we're going to have a defensive foul. Bodies colliding on the far side of the floor. T-Birds will keep it. They'll walk it up across the timeline here. Still off the corner, they get it to the outside. Now on the post, dribble drive. And now we're gonna get three seconds in the key. Well, you gotta be careful with that. You think you're fighting for a position, but as soon as you get there, these guys start counting. And you see that called a lot at the college level, not as much in the NBA. They will get away with that. Give them a little bit more time, or so it seems. t racing the length of the floor. This one won't go. Back the other way come the Comets. Stop, pop. A little too strong. Defensive rebound, and the T-Birds clear. Here's Emily Hill. Gustav King coming up to greet her. 
and then he dumps it in. And now we're going to have a holding call that's going to go against Contra Costa. Sicily Sorrell will get called with a foul. Fourth team foul coming against the Comets, so both teams still have a few to give. And, uh, better than five and a half to go here in this first half. Turning into the lane, not getting the shot to go. Another tie up, and possession arrow says T Bird basketball. So Hill, he'll key it in, and the shot, and that one is knocked down, and for a moment, it looked like Williams didn't want the shot, hesitated, took it anyway, and uh, burned some nylon on that one. And now we're going to have a traveling fall, and the Thomas is trying to go to the basket. That was Chris Style King who made the move. Looked like she had her feet tangled with the defender. She went to the floor. And the result of turnover. Williams well, has this one tipped away. Oh, that one will go out of bounds. This one no good. t is going to chase it down, but a whistle. And it looked like I believe it's going to be ball out of bounds on the baseline. So the Comet's going to get it back. Still leading here by four. Good ball game here tonight. And now we're going to have a foul here at half court and a frustrated player there. That's Markayla Hadley who's going to get called for the foul. And now the comments are keying in here from the side. Janelle yeah. Pantoy who keys it in. And the comments back on offense. And we just took under five minutes to go here in the opening half. This one intercepted by the T-Birds. They battle for it on the baseline, and now we're going to have a foul call against the Comets. Tohusa gets called for the foul. Well, the Comets will make a couple of changes. As they walk down the floor here, the T-Bird's going to shoot foul shots. Quick look at uh, Coach Nick Shaw. First shot off the back of the iron, no good. Carvalho coming in along with Vicky Lopez. For Contra Costa. Second shot, no good. Teamers didn't really even have anybody come down and try to get the, uh, the rebound off those uh, misses, off that last miss. There's a shot off the glass, no good. Teamers trying to cut into that four point lead. There's a block. Carvalho gets it, gets the ball back. Comets racing up the floor. Carvalho all the way off the glass, too strong. Rebound, put back. No good, they're going to call. Double dribble. And the Comets turn it over. So a golden opportunity on the fast break after Carvalho got the block. Whereas the Tebers are trying to go inside. Outside, Tebers knocks it down. Boy, Maya Perkins from downtown. And just like that, the lead cut to one. 
Carvalho shot just off the front of the iron. That's no good. Now we're going to have a foul underneath. Remedy Hill will check back into the ball game. Shot taken off the inbound, tipped around. Thomas going to get it back. Second chance and a nice floater with the finish. Very well done. And that's Vicky Lopez looking really quick that time. Good three point shooter. And uh, this one, and a quick answer here coming from Gigi Ainsworth. That was the quick trip up the floor after the Comets made basket. So a quick answer by the T-Birds and the lead still just one. Awkward looking shot but a foul. And Larissa Carvalho will go back to the free throw line. Carvalho, real inside presence. Told her there and told you about the good numbers she's putting up. A double-double on the average for the year. Provides that inside presence. And that uh, presence really is the strength of the team. And uh, she's really one that uh, keeps the team going with that. Shot is off the rim, no good. So she misses both here and the lead remains just one. And that's where we finish at the end of one period. Three on one for the Comets. Ball fumbled a little bit and they are gonna get the basket. Comets by three. Dribble drive to the inside, little hook. Crossing the painted area, that won't go. Boy, that was an awkward looking play right there. No whistle, Carvalho's got it. Short jumper from the paint won't go. One more try and she gets it to go. So Carvalho gets one, it's 31 to 26. Two and a half to go here in the opening half. And now we have a whistle stopping action. 31-26 in favor of the home team. And there's Carvalho saying that it was on her. I think that was a my bad situation is what she was talking about there. In any event, the uh, Merritt ladies going back to the free throw line, trailing it 31-26. Now Pansoy will come back in. There's Jenna. The flowery tattoo on that uh, left shoulder. Second shot goes, so the uh, T-Birds get one of two. And they trail it by four. This one off the side of the back row. That one wasn't close. T-Birds race the other way, and this one going to get away. But we're going to have a holding foul call. As we get down to 2.20 to go here in this opening half, as we take a look at uh, it is number 11, Maya Perkins. So Maya to the free throw line. And again, the T-Birds choose to pull everybody off the blocks here. So if you get a miss on that second one, no chance for an offensive rebound. Uh, it's a very interesting way to play it. Second shot, and this one is good. It's been close throughout. 31-29, our score right now. Dribble drive to the left, the take. Now oh, the shot not there. Kind of missed everything. Good looking move that time. But the Comets could not convert. Nice pass to the outside. Long three-point shot, no good. So this one's going to be tapped around. What we're seeing right now is these passes getting deflected a lot. And right now, the ladies defensively doing a good job on both sides, getting into the passing lanes and really disrupting 
The offense is Carvalho off the pass, scores off the glass and hole. Larissa Carvalho, and that was a good looking pass that time. Cross court pass. There's a three point shot off the iron. No good offensive rebound and a put back and a chance for a three point play. So Williams gets the points. She'll have a chance for the three point play. And Kiana Harris had called for the foul. That is team foul number five. Both teams with five team fouls. Just a minute 22 to go. Might be, both teams might be able to avoid getting into the bonus here. Sorrell getting it back. Sicily gets the handle. Good pass. Carvalho with that interesting looking jump shot. Kind of hesitates as she gets to the top of that shot, but effective nonetheless. There's one from the outside. Oh, that's an air ball missing everything. And that one's going to be out of bounds and will belong to the Comets. It's gone out of bounds. Clock stops now with 42.1. Comets by four. Just showing five team fouls. We've had a foul there, and now we've walked the length of the floor. I think we've got. Uh, I didn't think anybody was in the bonus here, but the comments are going to go to the foul line. So here's Pansoy from the stripe, trying to add to a four-point lead. And the first one no good. All right, so one more for Pantsorn. Shot up and good. Comets by five. Under a minute to go now. Scoreboard says five team fouls for each, but we'll have to check that. Well, a 13 second differential from shot clock to game clock. This one's going to be intercepted. Keeping it inbounds and then not able to keep it inbounds on that side. So some good looking defense by the Comets. They get the steal, but then they get the turnover. And the bad news is the last shot will belong to the T-Birds if they want to play it that way. Now, in that first quarter, they did not play it that way. And that's, of course, something very tough to execute as we've got a timeout on the floor. That'll be a full timeout. 19 seconds to go here in this first half. Comets by five. We'll be back to San Pablo here in just a moment. Comets basketball right here on BayAreaSports.tv. Anthony Schultz along with you, and you've been watching a very competitive, fast-paced ball game. The Comets leading after one, and then leading here by five. And now here trying to get the last shot. Here's the T-Birds, they won't get it. Comets get the ball back, and then the shot 
The clock going to wind down to zero before they get the last shot off, and that'll do it for the first half. A very fast-paced, exciting first half, first half here of action. Comets lead it by five. 36-31, Comets over Merritt. We'll be back with the second half right after this.